one last thing in this Macworld keynote. And we have some news, some things we're doing with iTunes. So I know I told you to tell you it's all about the Mac, but there's one last thing. There's some pretty powerful things that are amazing happening with iTunes, and I think it's important to share them. iTunes is the world's best music player and has the most amazing music store. We started the iTunes music store six years ago in 2003, April of 2003. In just less than six years, what's happened has been astounding. We've now sold over six billion songs. It's amazing. And iTunes is the world's largest media library, music library, with over 10 million songs. 10 million songs. And we now have over 75 million accounts with credit cards. Now, if you remember back in 2003, we started iTunes saying we wanted to give customers a legal way to purchase music digitally over the internet. And it's so, it's so great to see how many people agreed with us and want to take part in this legal way to purchase music. And with all this, iTunes became the number one channel for music in the United States. So what's new with iTunes in 2009? I'd like to tell you about three things today that are happening. First, price. As you know, we've worked with all the major music companies, as well as thousands of independents. And over the last six years, we've had one pricing model for all songs, 99 cents. And the music companies have told us they want more flexibility. So starting in April, we're going to give them more flexibility because we're going to create three pricing tiers. They'll still be 99 cents. There'll also be a pricing tier at 69 cents and at $1.29. And based on uh, how they choose to offer us their music, we'll sell them at 69, 99, and 129. And I can tell you, we know already that more songs are going to be sold or, or, or offered at 69 than, not, than 129. So there's going to be a benefit to a lot of customers. So that's the first thing, what we're doing with price, and that comes in April. The second thing we're doing, iTunes Plus. If you follow what we've done with iTunes Plus, you probably already know what iTunes Plus is. But for those who don't, iTunes Plus is a way that we offer music that is completely DRM free. You can put it on as many computers that you own. It's also encoded at a much higher quality bit rate, 256 KB encoding of AEC. So it's near indistinguishable from the original recording. And for customers that have already purchased music, iTunes Plus offers a really easy way to upgrade your whole library to iTunes Plus. Well, what's new today is that we've worked with all the major music companies. And starting today, we're going to offer 8 million of the songs, all DRM free. 8 million. And by the end of this quarter, we'll finish out the 2 million more, and all 10 million songs of iTunes will now be DRM free. Just in case someone didn't understand, I had to make one more slide on it. All songs will be DRM free in iTunes via iTunes Plus. Now, as I said, it's really easy to go in and upgrade your entire library to iTunes Plus and, and upgrade all your music to now being DRM free. So that's iTunes Plus. That's the second thing. The third new thing happening with iTunes has to do with the iPhone. As you know, on the iPhone, we have the iTunes Wi-Fi Music Store. And it's the most pop popular wireless music store for buying music on devices like cell phones. And you can go in and you can see what's hot. You can check the top albums and songs. You can find an album you want to buy, buy the album, buy the song. And now, with the iTunes Music Store, it's no longer the iTunes Wi-Fi music store. It's just the iTunes music store because it supports downloading and buying your music on both Wi-Fi and 3G cellular networks. So that means you get access to all these songs to the same price. A lot of others don't do that. They're the same price that we've talked about. It's the same selection, all of that incredible over 10 million songs available to you right on your iPhone. It's the same quality up to 256 KB encoding of AAC, you get right over the air on your iPhone. 
This means that you can, on your iPhone, preview and purchase music now, anytime, anywhere, whether on Wi-Fi or 3G networks. And whenever you sync your, I, your iPhone back to your computer, we sync back the music. It's the same music on your, on your iTunes on your computer and iTunes on your phone. This is a really big step for wireless music on cell phones, and that starts today. Today, you can start using iTunes over your 3G network. This is really profound, that now iTunes, on your phone, DRM-free, 256 KB songs over wireless networks, the same price, and they sync back and, and work on your computer right into iTunes. Simple idea, a really big step for digital music, and I think a really leading step for Apple. And now we're ending on music, and uh, in, in many of our Macworld keynotes, we've tried to make sure we always come back to remembering why we do this why we create products like the iPod and iTunes and GarageBand, all these great products around music simply because we love great music. That's really the heart of it, how it all started and what still matters.